Eighth grade, unit one, lesson seven. No bending or stretching. Number one, is there a rigid transformation taking rhombus P to rhombus Q? Explain how you know. Notice the corresponding angles in red and the corresponding angles in green. They're different measures. No, the angle measures of the two polygons are not the same. A rigid transformation would maintain the same angles and lengths. And since these angles are different, a rigid transformation did not take rhombus P to rhombus Q. Number two, describe a rigid transformation that takes triangle A to triangle B. Let's start by looking at this point located on the bottom right corner of triangle A. The coordinates are 3 and 0. The corresponding coordinates on triangle B are 6 and 2. The rigid transformation is 3 units to the right and 2 units up. Number 3. Is there a rigid transformation taking rectangle A to rectangle B? Explain how you know. First, take a look at the corresponding lengths in green and the corresponding lengths in red. There is no rigid transformation taking place because the side lengths of the two rectangles are not the same. A rigid transformation would maintain all lengths and all angle measures. Number four. For each shape, draw its image after performing the transformation. If you get stuck, consider using tracing paper. A. Translate the shape so that A goes to A prime. Translated from A to A prime, the image of the shape is represented in green. B. Rotate the shape 180 degrees counterclockwise around B. Represented in red, you can see the new location after a 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation. C. Reflect the shape over the line shown. Represented in red is the reflection of the original shape. 